Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition where, I don't know, I feel like the longer I play, which is not even, doesn't even take that long, but my enunciation just goes down the drain. I feel like nobody can understand me. Are you an Avena thing? Oh, okay. I dealt with you guys. Dealt with that. Oh! Welcome is this where? Kanala Exports. Where's my... Not my super super my jellyfish. Cultivating serenity I could get the blood dragon armor. So I don't have the blood dragon armor. That was the other one I bought. Oh, and somebody did explain to me in the comments, and I might be uh, saying this wrong, um, but that the DLC content, the DLC armor and weapons, were integrated in. Because I was like, did I? Because I got the deal. Right, I got the I got the armor. And, and then I got the note for it saying, oh, here's your, here's your armor, and it looked like the DLC stuff. Like, I was, it looked like DLC content, like the way it was phrased and stuff. And I was like, oh, no, did I buy one and then get the other one? You know, did, did I spend money I didn't need to, or was it because I purchased it that I got this note? Um, turns out you do, apparently, the, in the Legendary Edition, they integrated the higher tier DLC content as purchasable. Um, so that it wasn't like too OP, I guess, for the beginning of the game. Something like that, which makes sense, kind of, but so, it's also like, listen, hear you. I really do want this ar I really do love my current armor, but I really do want the blood dragon armor. Uh, what the heck? I got it now. Nobody can stop me. Where's my jellyfish? Where did I buy the jellyfish? Always prepared. What? Look at all this stuff I'm doing. Have you decided how to tell him? I don't know. A text message is so impersonal. He's off risking his life. He deserves more than that. I could record something, but I hate leaving vid messages. I always get flustered. Maybe you need a script. Or maybe I need to get him on a vid call so I can do it face to face. Who knows when he'll be deployed somewhere with an open comm channel. He knew it'd be hard to communicate when he left you here. Listen, I get it. You want to find love, do your thing, like whatever, but this just seems very cruel. Like, why even tell him at all? Like, wait till he gets back, if he gets back. You don't think Sanctuary is real? <laughs> real prefab shelters and cheap refugees in creepy occupied colonies are being placed in makeshift the higher than a hitter's water bill. <laughs> How can you think about profits at a time like this? <laughs> What's your name, dear? Um, Sarah? Uh, Sarah. Have you ever heard of Elkos Combine? Sure. Don't they make, um, everything? Pleasure to meet you. Uh, he probably gets a kick out of that. Does it frequently. You look horrible. I'm willing to bet you look worse than I do. Yeah, well, did you hear about the chemical fire and those kids from level E24 that they brought in last night? Yeah, I was there when they brought them in. Shit. I am so sorry. I shouldn't have brought that up. Look, if you need anything... I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. Talk about the front lines has got to be rough, but the front lines of the medical industry has got to be just some of the worst, honestly. This... This is where they're keeping her. That psychopath. I'm pretty sure I can get away with not letting her out. Do you guys have my jellyfish? Ooh. Please obey all yes. local government restrictions when purchasing protective And the equipment. sniper one too. Oh my gosh, I'm Thank so broke. Can I even afford my jellyfish? To I don't want that. I don't care about all that. We appreciate your visit. The ultralight materials is good stuff though. He's still here. Welcome to the Citadel gift. Welcome to no Do you Sporting have guns. my friggin' <gasps> That's right. Our selections include rare technology upgrades from the uh -huh. terminal systems. Uh-huh, uh-huh. 
Ah, uh, the Asari gun is beautiful. Free range organic Varen. I have noticed many displays of public affection on the Citadel. The rate seems disproportionately high. Everybody could die tomorrow, Edie. Looking up is one of the few things they can do. I wonder if this is how the Krogan feel. Oh, nice. Let's just get that stab at, at Shepard, freaking, who already feels bad about it. I have spoken with many Vitarian refugees here, Shepard. It may interest you to know that they are much more agreeable when the hegemony is no longer watching. Excuse me, Shepard. I am looking through files and videos of human behavior. I have 1.24 million windows open, but your request is important to me. Please hold uh. it. Welcome to Casa Fabrication. <gasps> oh my gosh, did I not look here before? The, the Alliance Fighter and Come Alliance Dreadnought? Gimme, give gimme. Give Must complete my collection. I don't care about the Indra. The only sniper rifle I care about is Black Widow. The Inferno armor was from last Thank game, I think, and wasn't impressive. Ooh, look at me. I'm never gonna get my jellyfish though. You two are the mom and dad uncle? I don't know. I talked to him, I think I already did, but I do at some point if I haven't already. Using Hades Gamma as a staging area, forces have rapidly expanded. Hello, Shepard. Nice to okay. see you. Okay. I gotta remember to double click on people though. At least. But Liara is a cutscene person, so I'm not too fussed. I should look up. Where do I buy my jellyfish? Should I just do that right now? I will just do that right now. Not that I have the money anymore. I think I'm going to continue wearing my armor that I have, but I have the blood dragon armor for whenever I want to change into it. Where to buy jellyfish? Mass Effect 3. Am I blind? It is from Kanala and Kanala Exports. Balan Jellyfish. Maybe it just comes later. Welcome to Kanala Exports. Kanala Exports. Scaldfish. Cultivating serenity. Koi fish. Whoa! Winter would win. Give it to me now, unless- did they take away the jellyfish? I am gonna be so upset. I must just have to wait until... We appreciate your visit. ...something happens. I like to just keep... Maybe I'll- Welcome uh, to Kanala Exports. It's nice to have, like, a lot of fish. That we looks nice, but visit. I really do like just, like, the- the- austere simplicity of uh, the jellyfish just on their own without the fish welcome commander shepherd please select one deck. moment please time to take a trip through unhappy no, land yes his squad did return his squad is the one in purgatory did i i think i recovered oh, the shoot. obelisk you mentioned i did that abyssal. it's waiting in bay d24 Really? Thank you, Earth Oh, yeah, yeah. Were your people involved in a secret construction project of some sort? I am certain this obelisk would help. Yeah, it's a good thing we freaking no keep the location more of a secret than Refugees from the fact that it exists. We're not even doing as well as the Death Star people. I'm not sure why. There was something important I had to do. Oh, are you looking for someone, ma'am? I... Maybe. I have these papers, but I'm not sure why. Here, why don't I take care of these for you? Would that help? Yes. Yes, please. You know, you remind me of someone. My son. He's dating an Asari. She looks remarkably like you do. He's so very happy. 
Thank you. That's wonderful, ma'am. I'm gonna cry. Like, how hard would that be? That would be so hard. Ah. I'm not gonna convince Udina. Blah, blah, blah. I think I try to make him. I think I. I'm not trying to make him, but I think I managed to convince him, but then I, like, actually go talk with her. And it's like. No, just kidding. <laughs> Oh, nice. Okay. I will, yes, authorize. Put them, do the thing. Oh. Uh, sure. I have to enable that? Oh, okay. Did I not already do that? I already did that. Oh. I swear. I don't know. Anyway. Val, here's the correspondence. If there's any mention of soul names. I've got it. A recent yeah, wait. So we already did that. Oh, no. He was with the Alliance team that massacred the Batarians. He's been on special research assignment ever since. So, he got his tentacles on some... Oh, no. Looks that way. I'm sending you the nap point for his office. I'll meet you there. We already... That was... That was part of, um... Oh, my gosh. Kasumi's quest. Oh. Mm. Oh, I see. Uh, sure. I think that's because of that upgrade I gave that woman. The woman. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I'm saving up for that. What I really want is the, uh... Krogan one back. These are quite lovely. Oh my gosh, that armor is really nice. I'm gonna have to get that armor too. Holy cow. Ammo capacity, weapon damage, shield, and health. That armor is sick. Oh my gosh. I really like it. Uh, I like the Black Widow too. I need to save up for that. Oh, someday. Did they fix this? I don't want to test it. I don't want to test it out. That was super bugged in the original version. You crash your game every time. Every time he opened it, wasn't even just uh, oh, maybe sometimes, no, every time. Let's see if Udina has anything else to say. I don't think he does, but... Oh. Shepard, I expect you're oh. curious about Major Arlene Yes, Cole. I am. Heard it on the news. How'd Caden go from sickbay to Spectre? Sorry you found out in such an impersonal manner. The Consul is in dire need of loyal agents. Alenko is among the first of many. It's about time someone recognized what Caden's capable of. Yes, a biotic, combat veteran with no PTSD, leadership skills, and most importantly, he is incorruptible. I will be keeping him close. Do not worry. That is the not time. good. My schedule has a way of catching up to me. Will this be all? I'm actually a little uh, terrified. Do not keep him close. You're gonna try to corrupt him. You're gonna try to use his incorruptibility for your own ends. It's true. Caden is incorruptible. There's, there's not. You can't, you can't change his loyalties. Uh, did, I... did you know? No. A lot of okay. Are... Many. It's. I must. I required a second VI just to track all their. I should go. I'll be here. Bye. Anyway, I forgot about that. That's nice. I am just so incredibly kind and checking in on everything. All right, Bailey, since we're here. Shepard, to what do I owe the pleasure? I'm here to talk to you about releasing Jonas Adaris. Damn, you too? Somebody got the council to order her release. I'm delaying as best I can. What's your stake in this? It's classified. Oh, please. That's a fancy way of saying mind your own business. Look, there's no way I'm letting that psychopath out. 
The woman's unstable and a clear public threat. I think I'm buffer than Bailey is now. Woohoo! <laughs> what makes you think she's crazy? She was a ruthless sadist before she got caught. Her imprisonment has cracked a shell off the nut. Maybe freedom will improve. Oh, please. Her. She rages day and night, Shepard, calling for the deaths of all Eclipse enemies. No, freedom will only give her the chance to kill. I'd like access to her to judge for myself. Sure thing. I'm sure you'll agree. Then maybe the Council will listen to you and rescind the order. Go to the CSEC outpost. My assistant will connect to Sedera's cell from there. Then call me back. I don't remember exactly how this plays out, but I'm pretty sure as soon as I meet her, I'm like, no, never mind, because she, like, threatens to kill everybody. She threatens to kill Bailey. Like, she threatens to kill everybody. And I'm like, no, I am not letting this psychopath out. Somebody stands here at some point, and we get to talk to her. Oh, that quest. That quest will be terrifying, honestly. That mission, rather, will be terrifying. The one it's Samara, by the way. I'm... <laughs> I'm spoiler central now. Samara will be standing there eventually. Under certain circumstances, however, she would not be. But, um... Yeah. Anyway, her quest is... Her mission is... Wild! Where did it... It was in the... Yes. I don't remember what Bailey said, but I know she's there. You guys... Oh, okay. I just need to tell him about us. Wait. Us. You and me. He doesn't need to know mm. that. Wouldn't it be better for him to just know that you've grown apart? I thought I was supposed to be honest with him. You are. But you're just being tactful. Not rubbing it What's in your it? goal here, lady? Like, I don't know what the Asari's goal is here. Like, she doesn't want to feel guilty for him dying knowing that his wife loved somebody else. Like, I don't know. Like, it's still, like, it's just like a, it's just a One nuance, you know? Is supposed to send in more residents to help with all the new refugees. Yeah, they've been promising a... Well, we're luckier than most other hospitals. At least our budget cuts are minimal. Shit, don't remind me. My old job had the emergency ward night staff cut to half before I left. Oh, let me guess. You don't process as many patients as the day shift. I've got the numbers to prove it. Typical administrator who has no clue what's going on in the ward. Man, I actually watch a lot of um, medical YouTubers. Like, I don't watch like long form videos, but I watch a lot of the like shorts and stuff. Um, from various like, I guess, medical influencers now is their thing. Um, whether or not any of them are actually in the medical field is, I guess, something else entirely. Um, but they have it rough. One of the guys is, a, is an emergency room tech, I guess, and the other guy is a uh, an eye doctor. But he does like funny skits for like all different kinds of like med the medical field stuff. Um, and uh, like just reading and hearing about like budget cuts and like admin stuff. Like it just. I, I don't know if it's for, I assume it's for other places too, but especially in America's for-profit healthcare system, it's terrifying. It's terrifying what administrators, air quotes, are, are, are willing to risk as long as it gets them better numbers in the end because the numbers are what matter to them, the profit margins what matters to them, not like actual care of like the employees or the patients, you know? And it's just, it's terrifying, really. It feels like it's just bouncing on a knife edge all the time, but... Let me save before this. I've connected with Jonas Sedaris and her cell, Commander. You can speak with her via that contact. Why they would keep her in? Thanks. A, we'll need some privacy. A public facility. Of course. When you're done, you can also contact Commander Bailey from that terminal. Like, why they would keep her in like a public commons area? Like, this is where your prison is. This is your high security prison. Who's that spying on me now? Ah, oh, I see. Good. Arya's indentured servant has finally come to deliver me to freedom. Uh huh. I want to talk with you before I secure your release. Bullshit. You have no. Choice. I actually do. And when I get out, heads will roll. <laughs> oh yes. You've killed a lot of my people. Don't think I've forgotten that. It'd be smart to bury the threats, Sedaris. I'll toss them into the caskets with my victims. 
I love holding all the cards. Even in here, you must deal with me. I you, have all the power. You don't! Is that she right? severely overestimates. <sighs> yes, saying my second in command is a weak willed toady. If he had balls, he'd leave me to rot and take control himself. But he won't defy me. He knows better. Now get me out of here, Shepard. Tell Bailey to release me. Bailey, I've seen Sedaris. So she's crazy, right? It would be ridiculous to let her. Yeah, out. no, we I forget this the, the secondary option is to talk to her second in command and get um a different leader of Eclipse. I forgot about that. That's nice, because I was just I was just gonna be like, no, I remember. I did not let her out. <laughs> and we are not letting her out this time because she's a psychopath. <laughs> Um, no, but like, seriously, she's like, she runs Eclipse, okay, big deal. Like, I have most of the entirety of, like, the Alliance military, like, at, like, my command almost, essentially. If I can get the Blue Suns and, uh, the Blood Pack, like, that's two-thirds of, like, the Merc power, which is more than enough. Like, if she wants to rot in here and let the Reapers eat her... You know, because of her pride. Because I'm not letting her out. Like, the whole point of letting her out is to save people. Like, she doesn't understand. And she's like, I'm gonna kill everybody. And I'm like, that's... And maybe if I let her out, maybe Arya would be able to control her and, like, send her in the right direction. But I'm not taking that chance. Arya doesn't have as much control as she thinks she does over people who are crazy. She's a menace. Let me try to make this problem go away. Sounds good. I'll hold the line until I hear from you. Tell her that I did that. Renegade. That was renegade? To not let her out? Frick, fine. Uh, if I have to rebel against Arya, the biggest criminal in the galaxy, I will. So you're making money. That's wild. Are you weapons, armor, and fuel services. If you can arm them and bury them, you'll never have to fight isn't that a say? I don't think so. Fierce fighting well, he should occupy most of Talon. He could, uh, he could, what's the word, patent it, make more money off of it. Hey, where's this guy? He's in here somewhere. Quick, hands behind your back. Over here, anything. Uh, what? What the hell are you talking about? Yeah. Crete, Blood Pack's leader. Arya brings him the great commander, Shepard. Crete pledges the gang to her. We're just luring him into the open so we can take him out. Right. Not the best start to our friendship. <laughs> He's coming. Put your hands behind your back and uh, try to look like I beat you up or something. Mm -hmm. This better be on the up and up. Quiet. I have to look even more powerful than Crete thought. Her instructions on boarding Citadel undetected were one thing. Now this. <sighs> Commander Shepard wants you to know your head will be hood ornament on my personal shuttle. Keep your distance, Crete. So, do you agree to Arya's terms? <sighs> Most definitely. Arya can use blood pack as she sees fit. Wasn't talking to you, Crete. Grill? What? You have my word. Now open fire! It's interesting that Vorcha... Grill's next in line to take over. Arya's deal That Vorcha are in charge now. Yes! Yes. I'm Arya's mole, Shepard. You've scratched my <laughs> back. Now I... <laughs> Word of advice, don't double-cross Arya. I may be ambitious, but I'm not crazy. Uh-huh. The most intelligent Vorcha I've spoken work, to. Good Gnarl. Thanks for the gun. Anytime, Shepard. Grill and I will let Arya know the light is green. And that's essentially what we're gonna do in this next scenario. dun da da, -da. We're gonna go... Uh... We're gonna beat up, well, not beat up, we're gonna replace Jonas Sedaris, cause she's crazy. But before it was, uh, it was a blood pack guy, or it was a, it was a Krogan guy who ran the blood pack, but I think we killed him in two. So now the Vorcha, he, mostly it was Vorcha and Krogan. Welcome, Commander Shepard. 
Maybe all the Krogan have like pulled back to one moment, please. To Chanka at this point. Now and it's just Vorcha. Because no Krogan would work under a Vorcha. Okay. A Salarian medical facility, is that what they're calling it? The SDG base? Fascinating. Uh, this wall fills up more and more as time goes on. I like this conversation. You should visit the I was on my boat when. Boom! The sky went black. Dust and ash. A giant metal wall rushed down. I fell into the river. Do you humans ever stop talking? When I climbed out, I heard screaming. The metal wall started to move and I realized it was a leg. Only one of the Reaper's legs. I mean, it's not like a happy conversation by any means. And it is interesting. I'm glad we got that com that comment from Edie. And I think I'd mentioned it before that, like, the Batarians are apparently a little easier to talk to when the hegemony isn't watching. You can't say that for all of them, but... Welcome to Batarian State oh, my goodness. I don't care. I, the Terminus armor was pretty cool. I did like it. I do not care about the upgrades to my weapons. I'll, just, I'll pick them up eventually, you know? Pretty sure the Blue Suns guy is down here. Over there, somewhere. Um... Could you imagine, like, having to live in, sl in these, like, shipping pods? Like, shipping containers? Like, that's wild. Okay, hang on. I'll deal with you later. He's a scumbag. I don't like him. We just him. got a report that another ship made it on the Calvin. How many on board? 30 or 40 survivors. That's all. They said the fighting was getting worse. That's Garrus's voice. Well, twice. Let's find some room for them. And this is going to be home for a while. That was Garrus's voice twice. Can I not talk to you? Garrus, let me talk to you and poke you. Except the Reapers. Ever see the size of one of those things? My personality matrix can predict what the real Commander Shepard would say with 7% accuracy. I come pre-installed with an SSV Normandy flight sim. My goodness. Unfortunately, that's my old body mesh. Ugh, it's so See, look at- hang on, look at this, look at this. We can compare, like, I don't know if I can actually make myself turn around. Look at this. It's significantly better. Like, look at how much of a noodle I was, and like, why are my hips so big, and why are my torso so long? Like, in the old one. I'm so disproportionate looking. This is, I mean, this is like a normal body size for some people, right? But it was just so weird for, like, Commander Shepard to go from, like, a normal size body to this. Like, they changed the mesh significantly. Like, nobody's body just changes into this from, like, something similar to this, you know? It's wild. And, like, her butt is so big in this one. <laughs> in the other one. Oh, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you, 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 you. Come here. Men, get ready for I trouble. was distracted by my own butt. Not here for that, Zane. Just want to talk about Jonas Sedaris' release. Yeah, good luck. I'm Commander Shepard. Oh, you're the one coordinating that, right? My idea, you know. Arya came to me looking to gain Eclipse support. I'm leveraging it to bust the boss out. Why would you do that? She seems like a psychopath. Path. Blah, 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 blah. Saying you should run Eclipse. Huh? <laughs> you can do it. Leave Sedaris locked up and make the deal with Arya yourself. Hmm. Arya would be a step up. And you think she'd let me run things? I don't see why not. Right. Right. Then that's the plan. Keep Sedaris in jail. I'll call Arya right away. Good man. I don't know if he would actually agree to that if he is a coward because if Jonas Sedaris gets out <laughs> and hears about that, she's, uh, she's going to kill him in a very painful, painful way. Uh, and I don't see him, uh, I don't see him being willing to risk that, especially, like, because he is, he does seem fairly loyal. Dude, that armor is really cool. Look at that. Or at least that color. I like it. 
All right, time to talk to the scumbag. Wow. Arya wasn't kidding. The great Commander Shepard on a leash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here for my own reasons, Vosk. Oh, sure you are. Anyway, tell her I'm impressed, but to do business, I still need my little problem taken care of. Which is? A Torian general named Oraka has oh, it out yeah. for the Blue Sons. He's raising a stink over our activity in this sector. I'll commit my gang to Arya as soon as Oraka's dead. There must be more to Oraka's complaint. We're just making little raids along trading routes. With Arya's blessing, I might add. Oraka's just some military fossil who came out of retirement to relive the glory days and justify his existence. Losing him won't affect your war in the least, but gaining the Blue Sons, well, you know our work. You seriously think I'll assassinate a Turian general? Arya seems to think so. Or else, why would she send you? She knew the price. The two of you work it out. I think his price was actually sleeping with Arya. Oh, and, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Tell Arya I still expect her blue ass in bed with me. Yeah, nope. What is it, Shepard? You knew about this? Can you be more specific? Darner Vosk expects me to kill General Oraka. Who cares what Vosk wants? What he needs is for Oraka to stop disrupting his operations. I figured you'd talk to Oraka, see if you can get him to lay off. And if he won't listen to reason, call me, and I'll take care of it. I don't see the distinction. The distinction is that I'm giving you the chance to save his life. Right. Why didn't you just tell me this yourself? Vosk needed to see you, needed to realize who he's dealing with. Plus, if I have to suffer that scumbag staring at my tits one more time, I might have to kill him. <laughs> yeah, he mentioned that, uh... <laughs> that I'm going to sleep with him. We all have our delusions. Yeah. <laughs> what about the food we were promised? It's been allocated to the Presidium. Then contact Commander Bailey over at CSEC. Tell him Garrus Vicarian would consider it a personal favor if he could reallocate the shipment so these people don't starve. A Presidium, they've got enough. They still have fresh water over there. Even on one station, the discrepancy is just, you know, wild. Um, I am gonna run real fast. I would kind of like to do this all in one, one blow, honestly. With Aria. Eclipse. I already got the allegiance of Eclipse. Maybe I should have to go talk to her? But I do gotta, I can talk to her off. I've done it before. I've talked him down. Off of t getting off the blue sun's back, it's no big deal. Oh, I'll go ahead and call it here. I'm not sure. Then I have to talk to Arya after all this, so that'll take a little bit. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Rescuito, my sapling chip patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree chair patron, who is the super bestest, and I really do appreciate your support very, very much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one.